liquid ambar styrosiflua is the sweet gum tree. Um, this is native to even the eastern part of Oklahoma on towards then the, the eastern forest of the United States. Um, can be a rather large tree, up to 100 feet tall. Uh, you may not see it that tall in central Oklahoma, but you could see them up to probably 60 to 70, maybe to 80 feet tall here. Um, it does have kind of a little bit of a central leader and a pyramidal shape when it's young. And then as it gets older, it, the, the crown really starts to broaden out and becomes more of an oval shape. Um, this tree is really prized for its uh, the fall, bright fall color, as you can see in this picture here. And um, typically is kind of a, a little bit of a, of a symmetrical shape of tree. The, the leaf has a palmate shape, kind of like a maple, but it has very fine teeth along the margin. And um, the leaf arrangement is actually alternate. You can see right here, these are like little spurs. These are called spur branches. And these leaves are very, very closely alternate on that spur branch. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. It looks kind of like a cluster, but they're just very um, closely spaced along that. A little bit of a, of a long petiole to the leaf. The dark green, very um, pretty dark green on the foliage. Now the flowers are monoecious, which means that they're it's male and female on the same plant. So the female produces the uh, the seeds and so these seed seed structures seed pods kind of a spiny ball um, they start out green and then they mature to this really hard spiny um, seed capsule um, they're kind of messy um, they hurt if you step on them barefoot and you can actually kind of roll on these if they're on paving so you have to kind of um, be take care if you've got one of these as far as the fruit falling there is a fruitless variety, it's called Rotunda loba, and it has rounded lobes to the leaves, and we'll talk about that further in lab.